Hi, I'm uh, Stephen Guerin here at SimTable. I just wanted to talk to you today about some of the things that we're working on. We're here in Santa Fe because it, we think it's kind of the world capital of simulation and kind of research called Complex Systems, founded by the Santa Fe Institute that was spun out of Los Alamos Labs in the early 80s. And in the 90s, as a, kind of a, as a group, we were kind of thinking, well, how can we apply this? And we're very interested in some of the complex problems that are facing our world now. Uh, we can address now with simulation and a kind of simulation called agent-based modeling. Instead of having agent-based modeling sitting up on a screen or on a laptop, we, we think it's, it's important to bring it out onto a table or onto a surface that people can interact around it and bring all of the stakeholders to the table to think about the problem. Since 2009, we started shipping a new interface that projects it out onto a table and makes the room interactive. To me, that's very important to get people to come to a shared surface, to a table, and, and, and interact and share possible solutions. The technology has kind of changed over the last couple years, and we're very excited now to make it much more affordable. So we're very interested in what can you just do with a, with a mobile phone. And in the last couple years, we've changed our programming, which used to be in Java and C++, and, and moved it into the browser. So just using HTML5, it's very easy to deploy. So we're able to uh, launch a simulation here, capture it with our phone, move it to another surface, and interact with it. And using a phone and a projector in novel ways where we can control the light and use it as a scanner to recover the height of the table or to track objects that might be on the table and use that as a user interface. So we're opening up this platform for other developers uh, and researchers think, what, what can you do with this new kinds of technology and what's it like now to make your room truly interactive? Yeah, because everything is in a browser, we don't really care about the operating system and it just deploys. There's no installation of software. You don't have to worry about the IT giving you permissions or not. As long as you can open a browser, you can script the room. So your smartphone plus projector and you have any surface. Since 2009, we've shipped over 60 tables for firefighters and emergency managers. It's changed how they do training when they have, say, 20-year-olds on the line, the fire line, that haven't necessarily dealt with a large fire. They can actually see the dynamics and, and learn how it's going to play. But we see many more applications for what we call now any surface technology. We think STEM education, you know, kids can learn how to write these models that used to be something you had to be in graduate school with kind of complicated mathematics to write these models, but now it's something we can teach a sixth grader. So imagine a, a doctor projecting down onto a patient as they're operating and seeing the data on the patient. Or imagine uh, another researcher and she wants to paint the room uh, with, with her data. We think there's a new opportunity to change computing in general. We think light is going to change. We think the light bulb needs to fundamentally be interactive. And, and what can you do when you have interactive light? And you are the author of the room.